um, the, the last thing I want to get to here tonight, and I, I think this is a big thing. Now, again, a lot of people watching and a lot of people that were just hexacans and pulsacans, whatever else, um, that may just be in the Richard Hart ecosystem aren't really worried about this. But I am really intrigued by what could happen with some of these other non-RH ERC-20 copies. And not to necessarily get into like every single one, obviously, because there's thousands, but what the different communities may be. But in your mind, just thinking of some coins, maybe in the top 100 or so, um, I, like I've seen people that are smart people that have a high level conviction that they were like, hey, as soon as I get these, I'm dumping them. Like, I, I want to get Pulse. I want to get Pulse X. I don't care what it is. Uh, that, I don't think they'll ever hold any value or anything significant on Pulse. And they'll probably just go down in value over time quickly. And I want to get out of them and get into Pulse, Pulse X right away. I've also seen other people that are taking it more on a case-by-case -case basis and looking at, like, what this specific community is and thinking that, hey, this could really go somewhere and could really run eventually. You know, it's going to take a while, let people find out what Pulse Chain is and then go. What are kind of your general thoughts on it, Ewok? And maybe I'm asking the wrong guy because I know you don't really have many allocations to much else, but how would you go about it, do you think? And then I can talk about how I literally have gone about it with, with some of mine, but I think it's a conundrum for some people because I will tell you, as somebody that had other ERC-20 copies, when I saw that I could get like millions of Pulse and Pulse X, it was hard to resist that. So um, what's your idea on it? I, I think some of these bigger communities will get wind of it um especially if the eth fees get out of hand again like um i know they've come back down a little bit um i think they were around 30 or 40 now back up to 55. so that's gonna play in our favor i really think you know and once so right now i haven't seen a whole lot of advertising to these other communities yet only because we want to get the network under control, uh, get the bridge under control, make sure that everything's working good before you start, uh, you know, pushing other communities in here and then getting their transactional weight too. So, but I think once that happens, um, you could see some of these bigger communities come along. Um, I think, um, I think, um, uh, Sheba, I think Sheba will come. I, I think um, Matic will probably come. You think? See, I, that one I didn't think because they're more uh, kind of big money. But I don't know. Well, I I, I don't know. I, I I mean, I could I could see it. I could see some of these meme coins going crazy. I agree. Um, I mean, Pepe Pepe is already in there. Um, there's there's some other. You know, we we always know that the the Zen people are everywhere. So of course, yeah. Um, and then you know you've got a lot of our other stuff like the Texan token, and you've got the weight token. And don't forget, um, by the way, speaking of weight, uh, while I'm thinking about it, if you claimed your weight tokens before Pulse Chain launched, um, don't forget to convert them over to version two. Uh, you have a couple days, uh, I think, until the the ratio starts to go down. Uh, plus, you want to collect your midnight bonus, and that's all the people that didn't convert um, or claim their stuff. So make sure you take care of that if you're, you know, interested in the weight token. Uh, I like what the guys from uh, Coast are or Coast and those guys are doing. Um, hopefully, they provide us a, a nicer onboard straight into Pulse Chain. Um, and those weight tokens um, are supposed to be a money saver on that side of things. So don't forget about that. I, I, I almost forgot to, to mention that. So. Hexpassiveincome.com. My friend Crypto Coffee has created what I think is probably the best course for a new cryptocurrency investor. Not only that, but these courses usually charge an arm and a leg. Crypto Coffee is only charging $200. I think right now he actually has a discount for $150. I have a link below in the description. If you are new to crypto, do not understand Hex and how it works, click the link below. It's a quick, easy course. He only gives you the basics. I 
personally, myself, have thought about creating an intro to crypto course in the past. I don't think there's any reason to do so because Matt Crypto Coffee has already taken care of that. And I don't think anything needs to be added by anybody else. So check it out. The link is in the description and sign up to Hex Passive Income today. Yeah, that's a good call for sure. Um, as far as like some of the other, I guess, like regular crypto market tokens, um, I know I've I've called out Chainlink before because, you know, you and I talked about it. I mean, that is one of the better communities in crypto for sure. Yep. Um, I think it'll do well. Um, but I, I just don't know. I mean, like maybe Cardano. I don't know. I, I think anything where you know the community is pretty good, if you ha if you got copies of those, I'd probably be inclined to hang on to them for the most part. But again, you can always hedge your bets and maybe just sell half. Like if sure. you think about, you know, it's up to the individual situation. You know, um, if you didn't get a chance to sacrifice for either of these or nowhere near as much as you wanted to and you're panicking or whatever, if it's going to make you feel better and sleep better at night to sell a quarter to a half of an ERC-20 that you don't think is going to gather adoption or anything. Like, for example, I had some Ave that came over. And the more I thought about it and with me wanting to buy some Pulse right away, I was like, I, I, do I think the Aave token on Pulse chain is ever going to be anything great? And I ultimately, over a couple of days, decided I wanted Pulse more than that. And I sold it all for Pulse. So, um, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, so, all mine, you know, one of the things that are going to be interesting, too, is the incentive token, uh, I think, is still voted on as a um a dow kind of thing mm -hmm. um so you know it's going to fluctuate as as we want more communities um that's another way to entice people to put liquidity into the market is say hey look guys you uh break bridge your value over here uh pair it up with the free ones that you got provide liquidity and look at these incentive tokens that you're going to earn you know you're earning three thousand percent or whatever it is crazy you know it this doesn't last too awful long but it is a good way to get um it's a good way to get liquidity built up it's a good way for people to experience the network um and it's a good way to hopefully if you can kind of get parity uh between the two you know that's ideally if we can get parity with a lot of these coins on what their regular what their regular price is um that's a win-win because it's going to draw people over and say well shit, it's much cheaper to transact over here i got the same value and then if i want to get out i can always bridge it back out if i if i have to so um yeah there's lots of lots of good things can can come of 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 giving them that free copy um and until a lot of them find out about it too you know there should be well there should be a lot of things that happen until people even realize that they have some of these free copies true definitely yeah and that that's an interesting thing too and that may be a case to not just you know go out and sell every single one of them because these these communities won't even know it for quite some time right you know i mean I, months maybe a year even yeah. like um so once they do you know and, and the reason i brought you know something like chain link which everybody affectionately calls pain link even the people in the community because it's just been in the same range for so long to know that like oh hey you got free tokens on a cheaper better chain um that you could pump the price of you know yeah. so i mean I don't know. To me, it would be well. To me, it would be appealing to anybody, obviously. But um, they have so. to have the knowledge. They need to know. So, yeah. well, that's our job. That and that's you know right. we become the educators at that point, and we have to do it. We we have to literally once, like I said, once things settle down, um, I can see our community kind of getting the word out there. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe not. I don't know. I it's weird uh, to think about because the you know the hex community is is very tight. Uh, they're very anti other stuff. Uh, but at the same time, there are the people that want to see Pulse succeed and want to see it be the chain that it can be. Um, mm -hmm. and, and in which case, we need those other communities to join us over here. Um, hopefully, they find Hex when they do that. And I think, you know, it could only be a benefit if, for, if even if they don't buy the Hex. They're still helping with the burn of, of PulseX and, and Pulse Chain, and mm -hmm. and su supporting the validator burns that are happening. So, 
you know, it's a win-win. I, I just, I, I just hope that, you know, communities don't clash too much because it could be a bad thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we'll see. I mean, that, uh, frankly, that is the least of our concerns at the yeah, moment, but at it this is, point, it, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely interesting though. And something to keep your eye on over time. 